stay calm, okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Okay. Staying focused will help. Okay. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. Okay. No, wait. Oh, damn it. Oh, what the God. fuck? What is going on? This is insane. But yeah, no, I, I've been avoiding... I've had this game since... Okay. Okay. Oh, God. So, so Kazumi, stupid. I've had this game some hazing for since the new August. Or something. I Just haven't played it at all, and I figured today was the perfect day. And do your job. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Tape recorder, old key, all key. Okay. Scare me harder, Zeddy. Don't you Sev no don't say that. Oh, it's terrible. That's terrible. Oh god. Nope, I don't not dealing with that. Oh I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean who does something like this? Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh... I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. Okay. I'll be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Okay. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <laughs> you fucking kidding this me. This is insane. So, so Whatever. what you're saying is I have to... Professional one, grab a body and get started. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, screw... All of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. No, 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 no. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound Don't. to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Oh God. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Reagent embalming. Uncover the sigils. Find sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Build mark, place then, on body. when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Okay, God. Okay, so what about this? 